up, y'all? It's Brie Kitty, and I am here today to tell you guys a little story and share some information on this product right here, Phyto. So, if you're not familiar with this brand, well, you're about to because I have a story to tell. One of this video was to show you guys what this did to my hair and the journey that I've been through going back and forth between being relaxed, getting sew-ins, getting weaves, and all that stuff. Going natural because that ripped my hair out. Relaxing my hair again because this stuff fucked my shit up. And then going natural to where healthy, curly hair is what we have today. This stuff right here is the, was and is the death of me. And haven't used it since. And I will not use it ever, ever, ever again. And I'll tell you why. Because it wasn't the right product for my hair. I'll just tell you that right now. This was the wrong product for my hair because my hair is so thick and so dry sometimes. I should have used something made for my hair texture and prepped my hair. And at the moment, since I wasn't cosmetologist, I definitely should have went to a professional. <laughs> it only makes sense. <laughs> so, without further ado, here's what happened when I used this product. What happened was I was getting a lot of sew-ins and wig, wearing wigs and stuff, and it was just a lot of tension. And I was also getting a lot of quick weaves, so that was also tension. And I wasn't, you know, I wasn't safely removing the glue from my hair, so it was also tension slash ripping my hair out and breaking my hair off. So I had a lot of damage already, I believe. So then adding a sew-in on top of all that craziness going on, it pulled my hair out in the middle. So after that incident, I kind of did the transition thing where I kind of let my hair grow out a little bit and I had like this much relaxed hair. But then I was in cosmetology school, like in the very beginning, like I, I had just started cosmetology school. So I was thinking like, mm, all this crazy information is coming my way about what's in these products that I've been using, relaxers, and all this other, uh, all these other um, services um, that, you know, you get when you're going to the hair salon. I got to know the chemistry behind everything. So I was like, oh my God, what have I been doing to my hair? So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go natural and I'm just going to cut it off. Because you learn in cosmetology school, there's no point in, you know, hanging on to any dead, fried, you know, unhealthy hair. So I was like, you know what, snip, snip. So I had like this much hair and I let it grow out for two years. And then here comes alopecia again, ruining my then I had another sew-in and that also broke my hair off and it broke my hair off so bad and my hair was so long there was such a difference between how like it looked like this but I had like a whole big patch in the middle. I don't know why I'm being dramatic and scooting back. But it was like this big of a hole. It was really patchy and it wasn't just a whole clear ball spot but when you feel like touching that area it was real slick and I couldn't really feel you know any hair follicles or anything like it was real slick and if you look it up um it tells you that if you have permanent alopecia especially from traction that area will be really smooth really really smooth so i was like oh my god I'm my hair is never gonna grow back and i was upset about it so i pretty much wore wigs and just wigs i mean I, I didn't want any more attention and my edges everything like i said around this area was good so i was like the clips are just gonna go around there i'm gonna be good no one will know and i have alopecia blah, blah blah so after a while i got sick and tired of wearing wigs it was like two three months and i'm like you know what forget this i'm gonna cut this off and get a relaxer i'm gonna get a cute pixie cut i'm gonna let that grow out just come you know let it grow out a lot get another relaxer and just keep going like that but my hair grows so fast and so thick that that was really annoying and the maintenance of that was really, really annoying and really hard to keep up with and I knew that I wasn't going to want to go every month and get my hair done. So I was like, you know what? Two months later, nah, I'm good. I'm going back natural. <laughs> this is what made me want to go back natural. I use this to relax my hair. Like I said, I got a pixie cut. This is what I use before I even got cut to relax my hair and straighten my hair out. Um, it's not this product because this is the Ultra Smoothing Mask, but the Phyto Relaxer, I think it's an egg-based relaxer, it 
was the worst thing I ever could have done in that moment. Not only did it make me cut my hair because my hair was so fried from the relaxer, like so fried from the relaxer that I couldn't even straighten it without it looking like freaking cardboard. Like it was horrible. My hair is too thick and I feel like this product as far as relaxer was not a good match on my texture. Hair, but it didn't relax it the way I'm used to, which is really silky and fine and just really bone straight and it wasn't bone straight. Um, maybe I didn't get enough. It was like, what, 70, 80 bucks, 100 bucks to get the relaxer in this brand. Um, so I wasn't going to go get another bottle of it. It was just too expensive. And so all I had was one, two, whatever, whatever, a container, one box, um, was just one application and my hair is so thick I didn't realize that I needed more. So I did what I could. I worked with what I could and it just didn't even straighten the parts that it did get saturated. So, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to a professional, get them, cut this, chop it up, screw it, get a pixie going, maybe, you know, it'll be good. You know, she, she, you know, um, washed me up, flattered me up, did all that, cut it all off and all that. And it was fine the first day. You know, it always is good. It looks good. And it is good after you get out of the salon. Unless they bump you under too much. <laughs> you know, they say, I want I want my hair. I want, just want a flat iron. And they always bump it at the ends. Like, I don't want the bump at the ends. But anyways, she didn't bump me at the end. She just flat me up. Blow dry me out. Flat, uh, flat me up. And I looked pretty good. But then I realized after that, the maintenance of a relaxed pixie cut was major. You either have to get your hair cut all the time, continuously, and relax that little bitty, little bit of hair that grows out every month. Month with It was a little bit of hair, but obviously it's curly, so it looks like this, but it's actually longer than that and very, very coarse. So I'm like, you know what? Not dealing with that. Going back natural. So I went back natural after that. But back to this product. It made my hair so... It was still coarse, Still frizzy, still really texture, but in a super dry, broken off, brittle, fried way. Like it was like I had bleached my hair and left it on for too long and it fried it like it was an egg. Like no joke. <laughs> and so I was just like, wow, this is horrible. So I actually put this stuff on there thinking that it would do what it said, which is it restores strength, silk. It restores strength, silkier, and shinier hair. And on the back or on the side of it, it tells you that it leaves your hair feeling stronger, softer, and smoother. And it makes it easier to style. Which, it did what it said as well, just like the other one. But it didn't do it to the degree that I'm used to. And there's a lot of natural products in this. Um, there's Wags, Kim Camellia Oil. I mean, there's different ingredients in the this product and the egg-based product. But it's just like... It just wasn't a good fit for me. So anybody that has 4A, 4B, 4C hair, I don't rec recommend these products. Because these products don't break down the hair texture. It doesn't break down those hair textures to make it really smooth and fine and straight. That Those products need actually, it sucks, but harsher, stronger chemicals to actually break down that hair texture. Anybody with softer hair textures than the 4s, then you know what, you can try it if you want to at your own risk. I am a cosmetologist, but I really don't recommend anybody using this that has less than um, 3B hair. Or has more than 3B hair. So 3B, 3C, 4A, 4B, 4C, don't really recommend it. But anyway, so yeah, this is my experience with the Phyto Relaxer slash Ultra Smoothing Mask. Um, if I had to get it, give it a rating from 1 to 10... I would give this product, not this one, the relaxer, a four. And I would give the Ultra Smoothing Mask a five and a half or a six. They both did what they said they were going to do to a certain extent. Not to the full extent that I thought. Um, and they really didn't moisturize. They didn't make my hair softer like they said they would. Softer, but not... It still had a lot of texture, you know? It still was really drying it's really drying um and it just makes my hair really brittle and break off so i went back natural after that and this is the result of it healthy colored hair and i love it now so i'm not ever going back natural for those who want to know i mean i'm not ever yeah i'm never going back natural with natural hair i'm never going relaxed again i'm done with the creamy crack 
I'm over it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stick to natural things. Coconut oil. Wash my hair once or twice a week. I mean, once, uh, once every week or two. And that's it. So, this is my experience and how uh, alopecia and this product pushed me to go natural more. If you didn't know what alopecia is, alopecia is a form of hair loss. It can be traction, which is what I had, pulling too tight, you know, pulling pretty much pulling your hair out. You can get it autoimmune disease or you can get it hereditarily. It's a trait that you can get from your parents. It can be passed down from your parents. So those are the different forms of alopecia. And if you want to know a little bit more information about alopecia, I will put some links down below. And I'll put my social medias down below. So follow me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.